Everybody knows that Joe Biden is no longer the one running the country. His wife, Jill, is the one who I believe is currently pulling the strings as closed door secrets continue to swirl about how she is forcing him to stay in the race. She is the one getting angry. She is the one making the decisions. Joe Biden even admitting as much, saying that Jill was the one who would get mad at him if he said something wrong. Everything is going through her right now. And so you may wonder, why is it that she is deciding to force Joe to stay in the race, despite the fact that it looks like overwhelmingly so, Donald Trump is going to win? Because what she sees happening is a plan being carried out to take out Donald Trump between now and the time of the election. That's been the plan all along. That's why she was so confident that Joe needs to stay in the race, despite so many overwhelming calls, despite the fact that he is clearly incapable of winning, he's incapable of serving. Who's the one who got Kim Cheadle, the head of the Secret Service, hired? Well, of course, it is Jill Biden. They are very close friends with each other, and all it takes is for Jill to give her a call. Hey, we've set this up. You need to make sure that there's nobody guarding this roof. Isn't it strange that after one of the biggest security failures in history, the head of the Secret Service is not forced to resign, is not fired? Who's the one making that call? Jill Biden. And the reason why is quite obvious. She didn't fail. She did exactly what she was told to do. And if you even want to question for a second if Jill is capable of such evil, take a look at her history. She started an affair with Jill when he was still with his wife at the time. Now that takes a very dark twist because not only was she allegedly the babysitter of Hunter at the time when the affair started, she also on top of that ended up having an extreme stroke of luck, at least according to her fortune, where Joe, during this whole affair process, happened to lose his wife and child in a brutal car accident where the brakes mysteriously stopped working. I wonder who may have caused those brakes to stop working. I wonder why it happened to be the case that right as this affair was starting to heat up, right as they decided they wanted to be together, then boom, all of a sudden, this perfect path opens up. Jill Biden, the most evil first lady in history. The scariest part is that Donald Trump is not out of the woods yet. There's still a long way to go between now and the election. And even after that, there's a long way to go into his presidency. So make sure to stay vigilant and be looking at Joe Biden's every single move. I'm Matt Wallace, and I'll see you in the next video.